what is going on everybody and welcome to this awesome series and in this series we are going to build a chatbot from scratch and we'll be using sequence to sequence model uh, more specifically encoder decoder model and we'll be using bidirectional lstm to uh, design our model and uh, i'm really sorry because i was not able to upload uh, videos in the past days so i've decided to take something awesome to you and i'll be uh, again creating this chatbot in this series as an example when we asked hi our chatbot response hi how are you fine quite fine and for uh, for the data we'll be using cornell movie data set if you want to download this i will link it down description go ahead to this website and download the zip file after you download the zip, zip file you will uh, you will get some files but from those files we need just two files one is movie conversation and movie txt let me quickly show you how these files looks like this is movie lines dot txt and i would suggest you to give this data set a time to read it and to to know how you can pre-process this data set quickly let me explain you over here we have the id of the conversation then user then movie then the name of the user and this is uh, the dialogue itself and this file contains the whole conversation between the uh, this id which i have shown you so these are the conversations so basically we have a total of so many conversation i think we have total of 83097 conversations full conversation between the users and you can give more time to understand this data set all right so let's quickly jump to the spider and make sure you have the python file and the data file in the same directory if not um, you have to give the full path which we which i'm going to define in a second so for now we are not going to import any library so what we are going to do is to open the files first of all so i'll be using spider because it is quite easy to it's quite easy to access the variables from this variable explorer tab so these are my files in the corpus folder let's first open the movie lines let us name it as lines and we'll be saying open we'll be using open which is inbuilt you don't know you do not need to uh, install this module separately so i'll be saying open inside the corpus folder which is uh, movie lines dot txt open this and encoding for this is utf8 then uh, while opening this we might get some errors what we want to what we want is to ignore those errors so we have to specify right here make sure there is s after the error so don't get confused or get a typo over there so i'll be saying errors equals to ignore then after that we need to read this file all right so after reading this file what we what we need to do is to let me quickly show you wait a minute. all right so this is the movie lines right and this is splitted uh, after a new line so in uh, programming we know that slash n represents new line so what we have to do is to say dot split at every new line so that we will get the list of all right so we'll get the list of every new line let me quickly run this line and show you how this looks like all right so this is our variable and it will take some time as it, it is too much data and zoom this up so we will be having the conversations after every new line break and this is list right and these are the um, dialogues 
so now we have to do same thing to read the conversation file like uh, i will uh, control plus z and copy this and paste it and i will name it as converse and the name of the file is conversations and run it so we have two variables conversations and lines now we have to pre-process this so why we need to pre-process and what we need actually from this pre-process all right so what we actually want is to let me take you to first all right so what we want is to list of this l194 l195 l196 and l197 and so on so in our list first list will be this second list will be this so we'll be having nested lists how we can do that uh, we are going to iterate in this file and split it at this um, particular keyword then we will be grabbing the last value and then from that we will just take these values and gonna replace these single quotes and commas and then we will be splitting it at spaces right these spaces so that we will be having a list of these which is our task all right so we will be saying for converse in converse all right so we'll be saying okay so first of all let's create another variable which will store this list and we will name it as x c h n exchange we will take it as a list so we'll be saying for convert in converse and we'll be saying e x c f n dot append what to append is to convert dot split where to split i have already shown you um plus 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 dollar plus 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 what we want to grab is to last value from this split list and from that last value we need our these values i have already explained you please remind if you are getting confused right here then uh, i have also told you that we need to replace single code with nothing and one more thing we need to replace let me zoom out this uh, one more thing we need to replace is this comma with nothing then at last we'll be saying dot split all right so let's iterate and hope for we do not get any error let's run this up and congratulations it will take some time to open all right so this is what we actually required to do and we got the list of these conversations now we have to do same thing for this lines but this time we will be doing something different what we want is to let me quickly take you through it these are our movie lines what we want we we need to create a dictionary with the key this and the value of that key will be this why you need to do it because later we need to use that list and convert that to question and answer list all right so let's quickly uh, create a dictionary we'll be naming it, this dictionary as dialogues you can use any naming convention you want so uh, i'll be saying for line in lines what do we want um we actually uh, will be saying uh, for dialogue and for the key what we want is line dot split and where to split okay so we will be splitting at this again and um we'll be grabbing first posi first position or first index or zeroth index as the key of the dictionary and the last index as the um the value of that key all right so let's quickly do that um all right so we'll be saying line dot split where to split at dollar all right so split at this position to okay what is this uh all right so we need to 
all right so we need um first position as the key and as the value what we need is to um we'll directly pass it line dot split we have to split split at plus 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 dollar plus 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 and give it a space and what we need is the um, last value this is quite easy compared to previous one let's run this and we'll be having a dialogue dictionary um, it will take some time to load all right so this is the dictionary and that is what we want as you might know that uh, for training a sequence to sequence model we need to convert our data to questions and answers where question will be the input to our sequence or encoder encoder will output a context we will talk about it later uh, in detail we need to convert them to question and answers how we can do that uh, that is quite easy first of all uh, i'll be creating a list for questions and a list for answers for training we need to pass questions and we will be expecting it to predict the answer and we will calculate the loss based on original answer and the predicted answer all right so for doing that what we will be doing and okay we have our exchn okay uh this is it this is the list of conversations so what we need to do is to iterate over this list and then from that iterate in this particular list then this particular list then this particular list and when we grab this particular value and uh, this particular value we will be using that dictionary to access the value by passing in this key this key this key and so on so we'll be saying for uh, name it as convert because we are not um, using this old variable and i'll be saying for convert in exchn and what we'll be doing will be iterating through the list and then we will be iterating in that convert list because convert is also a list and exchange is list of list nested list so we'll be saying for i in um, range of length of convert and now minus one why minus one give me some time to open this all right so this is the list as an example think of this that like these two are the um, question and sir or conversation one conversation so what we need is this as question and this as answer and if we take this as question what will be the answer for this we will have no more answer for this so what we need is a uh, question will be length minus one and answer will be up to the length of it i hope this makes sense to you make sure this whole code makes sense so we'll be saying questions dot append what we need to append we need to append the um the value from this diag so we'll be saying diag and um this index position meaning um convert in the convert that index position i as a question and this is it and for the answer we uh answer Search dot append will be saying dial and in that we need to pass convert and index of convert will be i plus one because the answer will be next to it. Let's quickly run this code and let's see how it looks like. All right, so these are our answers. These are our questions and it will take some time load all right so these are our answers these are our questions and let's quickly see if any question makes sense let's grab this seventh one seventh one says why and here says unsolved mystery you may spend some time to look at them but they are clearly question and answers and now we will uh, delete all other variables which we are no longer using 
why we are going to do that because when we using Kaggle to train this data set then memory would be the greatest issue because it requires a lot of memory when we want hot encoding output vectors so we need to delete them all and lines let's run them up and we will be having just question and answer all right so this is it for this video in this series and in the next video and with this said i would like to end this video i will see you in the next video if you haven't pressed the like button make sure you hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more such awesome videos